Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, we will start setting up our exterior for a production shot. In the previous episode, we went over the basics of material creation. In this episode, we will continue exploring materials, but this time we will focus on the Chaos Cosmos materials. I will show you how we can tweak them to complement our environment and we will conclude the episode by adding a 360 degree sky texture. We will use V-Ray Vision to visualize our scene. You can probably spot that there is a few objects with missing materials. I want to show you how easy it is to add and tweak materials from the Chaos Cosmos browser. By opening the Cosmos browser, we can see all the different categories. In earlier videos, we explained how you can navigate and search for exactly what you need. So if you're interested, you can check out the Chaos Cosmos browser video to get a refresher. Let's open the Material tab and search for a concrete material. If you have already downloaded an asset, as I have, you can find it in the Downloaded section. Now let's click on the Import button. Vure will automatically add it to your material list. Let's apply it to this model. If you feel that something is off, you're right. The concrete texture has a pattern which is very repetitive. In the real world, we never see the exact same tiling repeated multiple times. To change that, we have something called the UVW randomizer. When adding a Cosmos material, it will already be applied to it. All you need to do is select your texture and go to the texture placement. You can tweak the UVW randomizer or you can make one yourself. I will create one just to demonstrate how it's done. You will notice that initially there is no apparent changes. That's because we don't have the stochastic tiling turned on. What this does, it allows us to randomize texture patterns in different ways. When we select the stochastic tiling, the texture got cut in multiple squares, which can then be randomized. I'll change some parameters to demonstrate. Right now we have a very sharp definition between the tiles. We can minimize this effect by increasing the tile blend. And just like that, we created a rich pattern variety in our tiling. Now let's do the same thing for the floor. I'll pick this wood plank material I have previously downloaded. When we assign it to the floor, you can see that we have the same issue. Let's offset it a bit. I think that looks much better. Another thing that's bothering me is the sky. As it's taking a big portion of the image, we should make it more interesting. The easiest way we can do that is to add a 360 degree sky texture. Heading again to the Cosmos browser, let's check the HDRI section. HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image. In other words, this is an image that stores a lot of information including pixel intensity. This intensity can then be converted to light information. So the sun from an HDRI image will cast light, just like the default sun in our scene. When picking an HDRI, you can download and import it the same way as the materials. This time we will find our HDRI in the Textures tab. Now we need something to display the texture. Our solution is the dome light. The dome light creates a dome projection around our scene and whatever image we put in the texture slot, that will be the image projected in 360 degrees. So let's copy our downloaded sky and paste it into the dome light. You can probably notice that the HDR we added is very intense. To balance the amount of light that it's casting, we can enable the automatic exposure option in V-Ray Vision. If you would like to rotate your dome light to see other aspects of the sky texture, you can enable the Use Transform option and then rotate the dome itself. This was the first part of building our exterior shot. In this tutorial, we got familiar with the Chaos Cosmos materials. We were able to tweak them so they appear more realistic and we added an HDRI to our scene with the help of the dome light. In the next episode, we will cover different ways we can optimize our scene so everything runs smoothly. I hope you found something useful and helpful that you can use in your personal work. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience.